The inner plant trait allows plants to communicate when they're thirsty or sick using fluorescence. Currently, farmers can't see a problem like water or pathogen stress until an entire field is affected. Early detection of a problem allows farmers to take action before an entire field is affected, which reduces the use of chemicals and boosts yields. We'll show that early detection trait in action here using three different plant species. Arabidopsis thaliana is our lab model system, and here we have one unmodified plant and two plants engineered to fluoresce different colors, in this case, yellow and green. Tomatoes are our field model system. Here, we also have one unmodified plant and two plants engineered to fluoresce, again in yellow and green. Soybeans are our final product, and here we have one unmodified plant and one plant engineered to fluoresce green. You'll notice that all of the plants look the same. The human eye can't tell which plant is expressing fluorescence. In the field, the sun would illuminate the plants, and algorithms would filter out all but the specific color wavelengths we're targeting. But here in the lab, we're using different colored lasers and filters to isolate the fluorescent colors so humans can see them optically. With a filter over the camera, illumination of the first unmodified plant with a green laser shows no fluorescence. However, as the laser moves to the next plant, a bright yellow fluorescence is clearly visible. This laser and filter do not show fluorescence in the third plant because a different color laser and filter are needed to optically view green fluorescence. As the laser and filter move to the first unmodified tomato, again, no fluorescence is visible. Moving the laser to the second plant shows the same bright yellow fluorescence, while the green fluorescence in the third plant is not visible with this laser and filter. Now, with a blue laser and a different filter, we go back to the Arabidopsis plants, and we see some low-level yellow fluorescence, but the green fluorescence is now very clear. Our tomato plants show the same result with no fluorescence from the unmodified plant, low-level fluorescence from the yellow-engineered plant, and a very clear fluorescence from the green-engineered plant. Most exciting are the soybean plants, which we're preparing for commercial launch. Here, the blue laser shows no fluorescence on the unmodified plant and a very clear fluorescence on the engineered plant. It's important to remember that while this demo in the lab requires different colored lasers and filters, the fluorescence from the inner plant trait is visible in sunlight from basic imaging devices mounted to tractors, drones, and even satellites, using algorithms to isolate the specific color wavelengths. 